JSON or JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON is nothing but a data representation format, very similar to YAML or XML. JSON contains key value pairs. JSON is very widely and commonly used for creating and consuming ABIs because it is ideal for transforming data between a client and a server or between um, front end and back end because it is simply um, very easy to read and write and very lightweight. Almost all programming languages have libraries to parse and generate JSON objects. JSON supports many data types. It supports number and the number could be anything, could be integer, could be float, could be positive, could be negative, could be any number. It supports string, boolean, arrays, null, and objects. So we can actually have a JSON object nested within a, another big JSON object. A JSON object will be surrounded by curly braces and we will use a colon to separate the keys and the values and comma to separate the key value pairs and we will uh, have to put double quotes around the um, keys because they are strings. Now that we have a pretty good idea what JSON is and how to use it, let's jump into um, a live example of creating and parsing a JSON object with new JavaScript. I'll be using um, Visual Studio Code as my IDE. Yeah. I will navigate to my desktop and create a new directory there. I'll name it JSON. And inside that directory, I will have two files. One file for creating the JSON object, since we're not consuming any API and the second file for parsing and manipulating that JSON object that we just created. The JSON object that I'm creating will have three users in it. Each user is a JSON object itself and each user will have a username, age, is he a programmer or not? the cars that he owns and his websites. So um, I'll speed that up a little bit and continue once I'm done with that. Now that we created our JSON object, we need to export it so that we can import it and parse it in the other JavaScript file. After importing the JSON object, we can print the whole object to the console. There are two ways to access JSON properties. The first way is to use the dot operator. The second way is to use the bracket notation. I personally prefer the bracket notation. With the bracket notation, we can actually use variables to access properties. However, if we are trying to access properties using the dot operator and a variable, we're going to get um, undefined.
also we can manipulate or update the data inside a JSON object. And the way to do it is that we need to access the property that we want to update and then give it a new value. Now that we're done with everything, I'm going to push the code to uh, the GitHub repository. You can find the link to the GitHub repository in the description box down below. Thanks for watching.